Hey, what's up? Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be making, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a rotating logo. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, I basically have this uh, little scene that I made. And the way I made this is I just have a busier circle uh, that I extruded and converted to a mesh to make this uh, circle. Then I just have some text right here that I also extruded and some uh, area lights. And I'm using Eevee uh, with none of the little options checked. And that gives me this kind of uh, effect. So it's just a bright, you know, like, bright logo. So I'm going to be teaching you how to animate that, make it rotate. So um, change our uh, frames to 120 rather than 250. <coughs> and then uh, make sure our, uh, we'll change our FPS later. But uh, basically what I'm going to do Unless you want these uh, to rotate separately, or unless you want the circle to rotate uh, aside from the uh, text, uh, then you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to join these. I'm actually going to uh, just select the text and then convert it to a mesh. And if I control J, now it's one mesh. Boom. Isn't that magical? So now we have one mesh, which makes it easier to animate since we don't have to animate both of the text and uh, circle. If you want just the circle to rotate, then uh, or whatever your logo is to rotate, then uh, you can do that. But for this, I just want uh, both of them to rotate uh, self, just for the sake of the tutorial. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Also, I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up to about right here, maybe. So uh, now I'm going to teach you how to actually animate this. So basically, uh, in this little uh, box, right, you have rotation X, Y, and Z. Now you're basically going to want to find, because it could be different for you, which one rotates it on whichever axis you want it to rotate. So like X is the axis that I want to rotate on. So here's how we actually make it. Now if we see like, if we just rotate it right and play and nothing happens not surprisingly nothing happens because we don't have keyframes now I didn't really explain keyframes in the last video but keyframes are basically the little points in your animation that tells blender where the object is supposed to be so uh, for something like this you might only have like two keyframes but for something like a, if you're making like an actual animation you would have tons or if you're like animating a character you'd have like tons of those but for this you might only have two unless you want it to be like a really big animation for some reason but uh, here's how we add a keyframe so basically we're gonna want to keyframe first the uh, it being like this so it tells blender that at the start of the animation it's supposed to be like this so on frame one uh, make sure you're on frame run go over to uh, whatever rotation you're at right click on it and click insert keyframes so now we have this little point that tells blender hey at the start at frame one it's supposed to be right here and now to make it to where it is rotating, uh, if we go to the end frame, which in my case is 120, and we change the rotation to say 360, which is all the, uh, rotating all the way around, it basically tells Blender, hey, from this point to this point, it's supposed to rotate all the way around. So now if we play it, we can see that it rotates. Isn't that amazing? I know, right? So, uh, that's that's basically how it's supposed to uh, supposed to uh, work. So uh, now we have this. And I'm going to change my uh, frame rate to 30, just so it's a little bit smoother. So now we have this logo. Um, and let's say you wanted it to be a little bit faster. Now, the way that it's probably not the fastest, but the way I do it is I might change this to 60, and then over here. I might change this back to zero and then keyframe it. Now, if I'm right, it should. Yep. So now we have uh, three keyframes and making it a little faster. So basically, what I just did is you have this one, which is our original one keyframe, and it's at zero degrees, which I don't know if you have a negative on it. Yeah, I have a negative zero. But uh, it's basically telling Blender, hey, the start of this animation, make it to where it's facing this way, or this where the rotation's supposed to be. 
This one was our original end keyframe, which is at 360 degrees, telling Blender, hey, it's supposed from this point to this point, it's supposed to rotate around once. And since we lowered that to 60 frames instead of 120 frames, it rotates faster because it doesn't have enough frames to uh, rotate in, so it has to go faster. So and then I added another keyframe, which is zero degrees again. So it's saying from here to here, rotate once, and from here to here, rotate once. And if you want it to be like really fast, you can keep adding this keyframes. But for now, we can just have this, and it's like a rotating logo. And it's pretty cool. Um, if we go into rendered and turn off overlays, and we can see what it actually looks like, which is this, and it looks pretty cool. It's a rotating logo. Uh, kind of goes back and forth, which I think is pretty cool. You could also add some materials to it if you wanted to, like if I like say like uh, wanted it to be like uh, I wanted it to be like a metallic color. Uh, roughness all the way down. Oop, roughness can't go all the way down. If I want it to be a metallic kind of like this, kind of gives it a metallic color. And we can see that we now have this metal looking logo that is going back and forth, uh, which is pretty cool. So, uh, hopefully, this tutorial helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If I didn't cover something, then just leave it in the comments below and I'll answer it. So, thanks guys for watching. Uh, my name is Viz. See you guys next time.